So I was just gonna go take a shower. And I was standing like right in front of my closet. And then all of a sudden, this guy just like falls over in my closet. And I'm freaking out. And he goes, don't be scared, little girl. And I'm screaming and I run out. I was so in shock. I really didn't even see what he looked like. So I sprinted out of my office. And when I come running into my living room, my daughter comes rounding her corner in, in just a frantic look. You can just see the fear in her face, and she's crying. She didn't stop or run to my arms. She ran past me. And she screamed, there's a man in my closet. And so then the, the hair on my neck stood up, and the mood changed. I think I was in just shock, honestly, and just trying to figure out what, what do you do next? Press, please. 911. Oh, there's somebody in my house, and he's hiding in my daughter's closet. Press, please. God, my heart. And about the time I'm trying to process all this, I see a young man step out around the corner. He was a tall, dark-headed, skinny, in his probably early 20s. The only thought going through my head at the moment was getting. I didn't know what happened in my daughter's room, but I was gonna make sure that whatever did happen would never happen to anyone else again. I ran to him and got a hold of him, and the fight was on. Tim grabbed him and was like, what are you doing in our house? And they were fighting. As I'm struggling with the intruder, I'm hitting him, and he's saying, stop hitting me. Don't hurt me. And my wife, is listening to this and she says don't hit him just don't hit him I, I said I think I think this is the missing kid that they were looking for it, it took a minute for it to register what she was saying because I was caught up in my own moment so I, I go through internal struggle I'm, I'm sitting here hitting this kid and he's struggling and I start thinking oh my gosh am I really hurting someone that may be just scared and lost it was one of those experiences that, you know, you've got so much going on, you know, between calling 911, stopping him from hurting this kid, and trying to figure out why is this kid in my daughter's closet. So I had him by the wrist. He wanted me to let go of him, and he acted like he was going to swing at me, so I slapped him. And I said, stop, calm down. And he was trying to jerk away from me, and he jerked to get loose. He took off running. And he ran out, and we have a barbed wire fence out there. And this guy didn't see that fence. He ran out there, and he jumped up and just fell over it and took off running. That was the last I saw of him. <laughs> 